Hi, you guys. Welcome to Audrey's Reading Area. This is actually my second time doing this video. The video got stuck the last time. But enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. And a shout out to my grandbabies. Korea, Sana, David, the 13th, Kaden. Love y'all. Well, all right, all right, all right, you guys. And I miss y'all too. All right, all right, all right, you guys. Don't forget to like and share my videos. Don't forget to go to YouTube. Bam! Look for Audrey's Reading Area. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Educational Tuesday today. Alexa, what time is Audrey's Reading Area? Audrey reads in her area live at 5. And please subscribe. That's L. I V E live at five. You guys in, please don't forget to subscribe. I'm just saying, go to YouTube. Look for Audrey's reading area. <laughs> Smash that subscribe button for me. All right, all right, all right. Look, I am reading to you. Look, The Missing Eggs by Deborah Lucas, illustrated by Joanne Fryer. Did you see that? The Missing Eggs. I mean, I'm just saying, the missing eggs, let's see. So, we're going to just jump right into this book. Dad, Kayla whispered, wake up. Dad groaned, it's too early, he said. Dad, Kayla whispered more loudly, can I make pancakes for breakfast? Her dad blinked his eyes open. Okay, he said, but wake me up when it's time to use the stove. Then he rolled over and went back to sleep. Hmm. Hmm. Caleb pulled on her clothes and crawled out of the tent. Then she got out the pancake mix and looked at the box. Let's see, she said to herself, I need some milk and two eggs. Because she got the recipe there, see? Mixed together, two cups pancake mix, one cup milk, two eggs. Hmm. Kayla got the milk and the eggs from the cooler and brought them to the picnic table. She, <coughs> she was careful to set the eggs where they would not roll off. Now I need a big bowl, she said. Kayla went to the car and opened the trunk. She pulled out a big bowl and brought it back to the picnic table. She set the bowl down and then stopped. The eggs were gone. Where did the eggs go, Kayla wondered. I know I set them here. Kayla looked on the ground in case they had rolled off, but she didn't see any eggs. I guess I forgot them, she thought. So Kayla got two more eggs out of the cooler. She set them carefully on the picnic table. That was very strange, she said. Kayla opened the box of pancake mix and reached for a spoon. Wait, she said, I need to measure it. Kayla went back to the tent. Dad, she, she said, did we bring a measuring cup? No, came her father's sleepy voice. Then how do I measure the pancake mix? Use a coffee mug, he said. A coffee mug. <clears throat> Kayla got a coffee mug and took it back to the picnic table. The eggs were not there. The eggs were not there. Hey, cried Kayla. What happened to the eggs? Dad, she called. Are you playing a trick on me? Her father came out of the tent. Honey, what's going on? The eggs keep disappearing, Kayla said. Mm. <clears throat> Dad looked around the campsite. Are you sure, he said. Yes, Kayla said. And now there are only two eggs left. Dad scratched his head. Well, he said, let's use them for pancakes. I'm hungry. Kayla got out the last two eggs. 
She made the pancake batter while dad got out a pan and lit the camp stove. Soon the smell of pancakes filled the air. At last, Kayla and dad sat down to eat at the picnic table. Thanks for making breakfast, dad said. You're welcome, replied Clay Kayla. Sorry I had to keep waking you up. I wish I knew what happened to those eggs. Kayla, look, said dad. Look up in the tree. Look up in the tree. What do you guys think she saw? What do you think that they saw in the tree? Uh, bam. All right. <laughs> okay. Mm. Bam, raccoons. They were snatching up the eggs. You see the dripping? That's the eggs. They bust open the eggs and ate the eggs. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Now, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you, Mom, for always being here and watching my videos and showing all this love and support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mom. And thank you to all of you who have given me so many likes and so many subscribers. So many people have gone to Audrey's reading area mm -hmm, and smashed that subscribe button. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I appreciate you and thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Mwah. Much love. I'll see you again here tomorrow, right? For the next book, right? Tomorrow live, L-I-V-E. Live at five, here tomorrow at Audrey's reading area. See you then.